What happens when a bunch of local mountain bikers challenge a bunch of pros to a race on their trails? All in the name of fun. We're, we're here to have fun, number right. one. Number two, we got a little gentleman's bet going. En enjoy the trails, the scenery. I have green cones and pink tape. A little camaraderie. A little camaraderie. They will find something to argue about. This isn't DA tracing. We're not down. It's, that, it's, that it's different to everywhere you go. That's the beauty of it. So like it's kind of on bikes. It comes more down to lungs than skill. There's a difference of opinion. You're a high poster. What's a high poster? If you don't know, you are one. I didn't raise my post once that whole time. Oh, I don't know what a high poster is. I'm going to have to go look at it. I don't even own a bike that doesn't have a dropper post on it. My hardtail has a dropper. I thought that was enduro. I don't understand what a high poster means. <laughs> they, I love just <laughs> with people. So, how did the race work? Well, on the first day, they rode habits. And on the second day, they rode jekylls. The trails weren't marked well, and everyone got lost. Lifestyle points were awarded to those who excelled at slamming beers and racing RC cars. I think Ben had the best performance because he cracked a beer when he got lost. Bragging rights were at stake, so the trash talking began. The trail builders here were a little bit confused, I think. Anything that was outside of being a normal human, that's all lifestyle points. I don't know if I trust the timing. That trail sucks. Dude, it's just enduro. He really got his ass kicked. Boo. Whatever the hell they were trying to do out there, they had a good time doing it. If I stay by the fire all night, we'll just all pretty much get so wasted that it'll be hard to race tomorrow. And these things are saving my liver. <laughs> It didn't matter who won, because it was all in the name of fun. Yeah.